I want to ask a little bit more about, yeah. about CBD specifically. Is there any way to know like if the CBD you're taking is, is working yeah. for you? Cause I've used like different CBDs over the years. I have yeah. some Ojai energetics right now. Yeah. And for me, I've almost felt like, is it a placebo? Is it doing something for me? Like I, I can't ever really tell if I'm getting any benefits from using CBD. So I'm, I'm curious what your take is on that. Yeah. So I'd say, okay. So, so from like a checklist perspective, like number one, if it's fat soluble, it, you're, you're really not, unless you're getting 200, you need about 250 milligrams bare minimum, but more data kicks in around 500 meg and up uh, to really get, the, that's where the data shows that you're getting like real clinical response. Uh, mm-hmm. Then, uh, so if it's like fat soluble, you're going to have a really hard time getting an active non placebo slash that anti-inflammatory benefit of the Delta nine, if it's in there mm-hmm. um, response. The, then from a topical perspective though, fat soluble formulations work great. So you can, from, so using it topically for like, if you just worked out and you're sore, the fat soluble complexes work really well. Mm-hmm. Um, but from, in terms of pri- that, that doesn't make it into the bloodstream and it doesn't nourish our endocannabinoid system it, it systemically that way. Uh, so it's got to be solubilized or combusted. So if you have a vape of it, it will mm-hmm. work. You're going to get much better bioavailability. Uh, but what we figured out with our, with our tech is we can get the immediate absorption bioavailability enhancement where you can get an active dose that you'll actually feel um, with a couple droppers and less. Now, the, our bodies, think of our endocannabinoid system as like an engine that's been idled. You, it's most bioactive compounds need a loading dose phase. And then once it kicks in, then you can lower dosage. So mm. THC, you build tolerance. CBD, you actually have inverse tolerance. It's mm. more to the kava where you need less over time, but you got to get enough in to prime the pump. And once mm. it's on, then you can, it's engaged. Um, what's really interesting and challenging with, with cannabinoids is the, it's not um, a linear curve of, of efficacy and dosage. It's not, the more you take doesn't mean it's more effective. In fact, it's, a, it's, it's multiple uh, bell curves. Mm-hmm. So a, a higher dose can be substantially less effective than a lower dose. Uh, and the challenge is with a fat-based formulation, you have no idea where you're at on the bell curves. You're shooting in the dark. Interesting. And then to add an extra layer of challenge is it, it appears to be modulating and mo- it's a moving target on a day-by-day basis depending <laughs> on oxidative stress. Uh, and so some days you may hit a sweet spot and other days you can be co- totally ineffective in dosage. Um, and so for like serious situations on like our life science end, like you really don't want to miss an effective dose. Um, and, and, and so what we figured out was we, this, there's this amazing phenomena with our bodies that's unique to our tech with the immediate absorption and the bioavailability enhancement where our tongues will actually modulate flavor on the spot as you change your dose and, and, and it will go from very bitter as you go up the bell curve and you find the sweet spot of dosage is actually literally, literally, yeah. literally <laughs> sweet. Like hey, yeah. it's, it's like a, Cosmic Easter egg that just unlocked. <laughs> <It's> like, um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> and, uh, and so we discovered this phenomena, right? And, and so we knew it was happening, we, but, but we didn't know the, the, the pathways. Like my hypothesis was it's, it's, it's you know, endocannabinoid receptor interaction that, that, feed, mm-hmm. that has this feedback. You see it with zinc. Zinc will taste like water when you're in an ineffective range. And when you yeah. get the right load, it turns to like a nasty, fuzzy metallic. Good thing with, with cannabinoids is it tastes sweet. <laughs> so yeah. It starts more nasty, uh, depending, more bitter. Um, yeah. But uh, it subsequently, after we made this discovery, these Japanese researchers and Japan like leads the way in, in, in flavor science, like mm-hmm. Unami, and so, so it turns out oh, they yeah. they, uh, they they this paper came out, and one of our practitioners said that the, these researchers discovered that the endocannabinoid system causes selective sweet modulation of the tongue. And so that we know now the, the biopathway in which the, the, this, this, this feedback loop operates. So you can titrate your dose and pinpoint an effective dose on the spot for that day 
just using your own feedback system uh, with your body with our formula. And so if you don't get a response on the first sweet spot, and it's going to be very, very sweet. If you're like, if it's half sweet, half bitter, bitter you're halfway up or halfway down a bell curve. You don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. and so it's going, to, it's going to be some efficaciousness, but not like proper engagement. And it's really important to prime the system enough on the first. And then after that, you can kind of, if you don't want to play with dosage of flavor, you can ride the, the laws of average and some days hit it mm-hmm. and some days not, but you yeah. want them on. Um, and if what's fascinating is the endocannabinoid system works in like triage. So it's monitoring every system of the body and it's, and it determines which system is most in need of cannabinoids and will deploy to that system and then just run through the triage checklist. And so most people, uh, top of the list is nervous system. And then funnily enough, we discovered, and it makes sense is the eyes, the optic system tends to be targeted on the top of the chain. Uh, where, right, if when, in the age of, of saber tooths, mm-hmm. you lose your vision, you're done. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it makes sense. It's a top priority. Um, but if you, if you take it and it's sweet and then you've got something going on that, that it didn't take care of and that within like a minute with our formula, it tends to be less. Um, it, what you'll, if you go to the second sweet spot, it will go back to bitter again and then back up to sweet. The second sweet spot, majority of the time, what we consciously think is the number one thing, it's on the list. And so, uh, mm. that's a, so that's a hack of like, so you wanna... you're basically going far enough to like, hold on. I still got to get to this thing, whatever this thing, I feel off, like yes. I'm foggy or something like yes. that, or just, I feel like shit. Somehow right. it's like, all right, right, it's going to hit it eventually. Got to right majority another of the time, the second bell curve, it's on that list. If it's not wow. on the first one. And so it could basically like, right. Like we could, we could have just like, had a uh, did a marathon and now if you did a marathon i'm confident that the first sweet spot is going to take care of the <laughs> it should. uh yeah. it's typically right unless something really is going on with you mm-hmm. uh, but but let's just say you're more tired that day and you haven't gotten that alert feeling that because cbd can target adenosine receptors um, which are the same receptors that caffeine targets. And so it's not just a sedative at all. It's a modulator. It's, the, it's a super adaptogen. So it, it mm-hmm. tunes whatever di- direction your body needs for overall body balance. But let's say you're still foggy at this first sweet spot. It could have gone to your digestive system or to your bones. You're not going to ca- you're not going to feel it. Um, right. If it's in the digestive. So system. meaning, yeah. Like if you have some issue, yes, yeah, somewhere else, like you're not going to feel that effect that you think that you are going to feel with uh, it, CBD. Yeah. It, it, particularly if you're getting, if you're in the eff- effective dose range and you know that you've got the sweet spot. So it like really mm-hmm. boils down to our tech, uh, from, mm-hmm. from that immediate knowing and, and actually feeling it. But we get tons of people who come to us and they're like, I thought CBD didn't work. And this is the only CBD that I've ever felt. And it makes sense on the science. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so the second sweet spot, you will majority of the time uh, actually feel what you think is if, if it doesn't make the first triage check.